This video is looking at the Earth's mass extinctions, in particular the five big mass extinctions. A mass extinction is defined as a eradication of multiple species, a large percentage of species in a very short time, and after that, a period of very few species, or the rebound takes a long time, and we're looking at the five big ones in this video. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Our planet is in a delicate balance between the atmosphere, the sun's energy, the temperature, the composition chemically of both the oceans, the atmosphere, and the land, the flora and fauna that exist at a certain time on the Earth, and all of these, the temperature, the chemicals, the biological processes, all happen at a delicate balance. If that balance is pushed out of that equilibrium, and that feedback loop continues in a, in a positive way to change the environment, you get these massive extinction events whereby the percentage of species on the planet goes extinct, is stripped from the Earth's surface, and all we do is find these fossil records and these, these scraps that, of evidence that we can peel back from geology and we go down into the rock layers and see what happened to that Earth at that point in time. So certain causes can relate to these mass extinctions, such as volcanic activity and the addition of greenhouse gases to either heat the atmosphere or to cool it. Or you have a new flora of fauna which affects the chemical composition of the atmosphere. Or you might have microbes. Or you might just have simply the growth or extent of ice caps from the North and South Pole. All can cause these mass extinctions to occur. So for the past half billion years, the five big extinctions we're going to look at in this video are the Ordovician, Devonian, Permian, Triassic, and Cretaceous. And all five have occurred in the uh, Phenozoic Eon, and they include both the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras. So the order is Ordovician, Devonian, Permian, Triassic, and the most recent is Cretaceous. And a little question mark there for if we're currently in a sixth mass extinction event caused by lovely humans and our activities on this planet. Again, that's in question. So our first mass extinction is the late Ordovician. Now this happened around 450 million years ago, up to about 444 million years ago, and happened in two distinct events. Now this was the first extinction event, and it was a large one. And it happened about 100 million years after the Cambrian explosion. So the Earth had this great quick population of new species around the Cambrian period and really started to fill the oceans with all these new species. And for 100 million years, there was evolution, diversity, and then came this first mass extinction. It came through a climate shift, through rapid cooling and the growth of ice sheets. And then it killed off about 40-45% of the genus and of which about 85% of the species were extinct. So this is a large extinction and the first one of the big five. It took about 70 million years for the Earth species to recover and then came the second mass extinction on our list, which is the late Devonian, it happened between 375 to 360 million years ago. So a 15 million year period, which saw different waves or different parts of this extinction happen in three different ways. And this, well, this was caused by the climate shift again, went from tropical to cooling, and it basically was the removal of CO2 by all of this vegetation and flora, and caused an extinction level which was a bit smaller, but still took out 35% of the genus and 75% of the species. Now our third mass extinction, this was a big one. This was a complete, nearly complete eradication of species on the planet and it was the end of the Permian and early the Triassic extinction events. This happened around 260 million years ago to 252 million years ago and basically there was this combination of the atmospheric and oceanic conditions that changed radically through volcanic activity and greenhouse gases and the planet warmed considerably so much of the oceans are estimated to have risen 
above 8 degrees Celsius than normal or 14 and a half degrees Fahrenheit, which is insane because today's estimation of our, our climate change is a 1.5 to 2 degree change Fahrenheit. And this was a 14 degree Fahrenheit change. So a stark difference to the previous extinction events. And this took out half or over half of the genus of the planet, of which was 96% of the species. So over the course of the last half billion years, which includes the other three events discussed, the late Triassic, our fourth one in our list, was a smaller extinction event, and it was to do with Pangaea. Now, the two land masses of Gomorrahland and Laurasia had been stuck together, formed for about half a billion years, and then eventually came together to, to fit or form one supercontinent, which is called Pangaea. Once Pangaea started to break up and rift and slice into its different components, which we see today, and the formation of the Atlantic Ocean, was around 200 million years ago, and this caused a sharp increase in CO2 in the atmosphere and a resulting temperature increase, which caused this extinction event to occur. Now, it was smaller, but it still took out between 45 and 47% of the genus and 80% of the species. So after the late Triassic, there was about 130 million years where life had rebounded, and then came the most famous event on Earth in terms of mass extinctions. And this was around 66 million years ago, and this was the Chicxulub event where this massive asteroid, this meteorite, impacted Earth around the Gulf of Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, and created a uh, crater that was between 90 to 110 miles wide and 12 miles deep. Now this event was cataclysmic, it was catastrophic, it was crazy and I'm sure dinosaurs had a fun day when that thing actually hit and there are other research papers out there suggesting that this was not only the one event that caused the extinction there was other possible factors including a large amount of volcanic activity around the Indian subcontinent which could have caused a knock-on effect where other species were extinct but the event in general caused about half to 56% of genus to be extinct and about 89% of the species. So this was a larger mass extinction than the previous one, the late Triassic, but not as big as the Permian. Now, this is the most famous because of the huge amount of research done and the kind of Hollywood style meteorite impact that would have happened and caused the huge effect of the nuclear winter, the dust, the fireball, the flash boiling of the water, the tsunamis, the civil change, the effect of volcanic activity and earthquakes and all the knock-on effects that would have happened from that impact and the energy that rock that was only about seven miles wide caused on this planet. Pretty amazing stuff and that kind of wraps up our five major mass extinctions that are called the Big Five. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you'd like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth science.